Yes, Good and 52, and welcome back to another deck review. Now, some of you Eagle Eye fans will notice that I am wearing a different t shirt than I was in the uh, B roll at the beginning and the tutorial that's going to be featured at the end of the video, so stick around for that. That is because I may have spilled something down me after I filmed that, so this is the closest top I've got. I couldn't be bothered to wash another one and wait for that to dry, so let's get into it. If you haven't already, make sure that you like this video, you comment, and you subscribe. And most of all, you head over to my channel if you're watching on 52 Wonders, but if you're on my channel, head over to 52 Wonders. That's gonna get confusing. So, my friend of 52 Wonders, Bao has sent me a little gift today, and it is Technique V2 Playing Cards by Christy Everson. Now, for those of you who don't know Christy Everson or Technique Playing Cards, these cards have been designed solely for the purpose of cardistry. These are designed for you to create new flourishes with this insane back design. It features five different colours on there and they sit parallel to each other. And the idea is that when you create cuts and you move, you just follow like, say for example, just the greens and you move your fingers to the green positions every single time you cut. Now it is worth noting that there are five different one way back designs. So that means there are 10 back designs if you flip them 180 as well. That means there is a million different combinations that could happen as you cut every single card in the deck. So the idea here is that it will create different flourishes and force your mind to think in a completely different way. So a little background story, so this has taken apparently three years in the making. He sat down and really concentrated on this and I think it is a great idea. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the Technic V2, so the tuck case comes in this white tuck case here with these five colours that are featured down the back design. On the side we have those same five colours replicated in this small little block here. And if you flip the deck around, we've got those five colours again along there. This is the back design for the cards and it also features on the back of the box. And this is that colour border that I was talking about earlier. So there's different colours and they run around the box like this. So, let's have a little look. So the cards themselves are printed on USPCC stock. So any of you that have a USPCC deck will know what these cards are going to be like before I even open them and use them. So straight out of the box, they spring well, they dribble really well, let's have a little look. Yep, both ways, equally as good. Black design features this sort of camel tan, and apparently according to the website for these, or Chrissy Everson's website, this is meant to be able to match with any item of clothing. That seems to work matches of any item of clothing that you wear is meant for daily use and meant for daily if you're carrying around it's meant to be one of your pickups meant to carry now everyone out there who is a cardist or is a magician who is a card enthusiast if you're like me you will pair your outfits with your card so if there is a lot of green in my outfit I'll be wearing the green wheels I will tailor my outfit to match my cards and apparently these will be able to fit with most styles with the sort of natural beigey camel colour on the back there. That same design is replicated on the front, so no matter where you're cutting or how the, the orientation of the cards changes, that will also change as well and give you different options. As you just witnessed there, so the pips have changed into this gold colour for the black ones and for the red pips they are now green and as you can see here the court cards have changed so they're basically the same standard face but they have different colors working in there so you've got golds oranges blues and teals which is a really nice touch there the only real form of customization in this deck is the ace of spades and there we have it so you'll recognize these lines from the iconic V1s of the Technique, which are all over the front of the tuck case. It is worth noting that there are no jokers that come with this deck. Instead there are, so we've got Technique Games, a Technique ad card that tells you about the design. Pro tips about filming and taking breaks. So if you're new to my channel guys, or you're just seeing my stuff on the 52 Wonders page, I don't do normal reviews, I don't do it by out of 10. I have four categories, so these are aesthetics, handling, durability, and practicality. Each one of those marks out of 13 points instead of 10. So, for this deck, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 13 for aesthetics, an 11 out of 13 for handling, 10 out of 13 for durability, and a nine out of 13 for practicality, giving it an overall score of 40 out of 52. Now guys, it is worth mentioning, 
These cards are available at 52 Wonders. Feel free to go ahead and pick them up. If you're on my channel, I'm going to leave the link below. If not, and you're watching on the 52 page, go to their website and pick it up some of those cards. If you have not heard of 52 Wonders before, they are an e-commerce website based in Germany and they sell playing cards. If you are in Europe and you want to pick up a good deal on playing cards, head on over to 52 Wonders where you'll find lots of playing cards there. As well as that, stick around on the YouTube channels as there will be lots of content coming out in the near future. So you've got magicians and we've got cardists and we're all gonna be creating free content for you guys to learn and get involved in magic. So stick around, there'll be lots more magic videos and tutorials coming from me of which one is coming right up. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be teaching you one of my favorite routines to do with the key card principle. Now I first heard about the key card principle in Expert Card Technique by Jean Hugard and Frederick Browey, but the method that they use in order to get a key card I think is quite complicated. So I'm gonna show you a very simple method first. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to need to have to do a riffle shuffle, how to maintain that bottom stop, and then for the routine itself, you're gonna need some paper, or I've got two blank playing cards, and a Sharpie. Ideally two, one for you and the spectator. And this is gonna be a mentalism trick disguised as a card trick. So you're gonna start off the presentation by shuffling the cards, like you would do in any trick. And by shuffling the cards, what you're going to do is I'm going to lower this down so you can see. I'm going to look at the bottom card, which is a jack of spades. And as I riffle that off, I'm going to let this packet, which is my left hand packet, drop off one card first before riffling the rest of the cards. Now obviously when you get used to doing this at some speed, the spectator should be none the wiser that you are maintaining those bottom stock. Still there. And again, another shuffle. So you can see that the cards truly are really mixed up, except for that bottom card, okay? And you're gonna get them to make an absolute free selection. There we go, it's a nice easy one to draw, the four clubs. Now in a stood up environment, you're gonna do a swing cut, where you're gonna ask them to turn it to the middle of the deck, and you're genuinely just gonna chuck that on top, and that's your slight hand done. Now in order to present this trick, what you're gonna say is this, you're gonna say, right, okay, I'm just gonna spread through the cards, and I'm gonna try and get a connection to you. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be looking for your key card, the Jack of Spades. Now their card is going to be directly underneath the Jack. And you're just going to quickly spread straight through it and put the cards on the table. Or put them away in your pocket, okay? And this is where the fun starts. So what you're going to do is this. You're going to get them to get a piece of paper and you're going to take a piece of paper. So right, there's no way I could possibly know what your card is. I've got a kind of connection, I've got a feel from the cards from, your, from, what you, from when you've handled them. And I'm gonna see if I can read your mind. And you're gonna ask them to draw their card onto their, their piece of paper at the same time that you're drawing theirs. You know what their card is, but instead of quickly rushing through it, you're gonna stare at them and make it seem like you're drawing information from them. So I'll be there and... You'll be looking at them as if you're gaining any information from them and they'll be drawing as well. And you can present it that you're really, you're really reading their mind. And so the idea is that you've drawn the card the same as theirs. So imagine this has got drawn on. And you're drawing it at the same time. And then you do the reveal. And what I like about this card trick is that instead of going through the deck, pretending that that's their card, oh no, that's not yours, going back, and then this is your card, it is this. Or instead of going, oh, I think I can figure out what your card is, but look at you. By doing it in the drawing stage, it detracts away from that really simple magic that you've done. It makes them forget that you've just looked through the deck and potentially looked at their card and just puts it solely on you reading their mind. And if you present it really well, it's going to give you the ability to, to make, take that trick a bit further. By cutting out any of the, the rubbish, you're able to really focus on delivering a really astounding trick that's going to give really good results. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video tutorial on the sort of mentalism card trick. If you're on my channel, I'll leave a link below where you can pick up the bicycle playing cards. And if you are on the 52 Wonders channel, I'm sure they've got some on their site. If not, it's a quick Amazon search away. Blank face cards. If not, just use paper. Simple as that. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, make sure that you like, you subscribe and you comment down below if this is something that you will use in your daily repertoire and I hope to see you on the next one. I'm still here, don't worry. But yeah, seriously guys, see you later.